Hey everyone, in this video, I'm gonna show you how we can set up one toolbar with navigation graph. I'm using the same project, only difference is that I've changed the color of this fragment. So, by default, we get one action bar for each activity, but action bar is not customizable as like toolbar, and toolbar is more flexible. So the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna remove this action bar and I'm gonna place one toolbar here. For that, first thing you need to go to this themes file. You'll find the themes file inside this resource folder. And in the themes file, then you can see that this theme, this theme is, uh, the parent of this theme is like material component day night and dark action bar. So the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna remove it. So I'm gonna use app complete light dot no action bar. So it will remove the action bar from this activity. Then let's move back to the activity XML file. So here we need to add one toolbar. You can see here that the action bar is removed. So I'm gonna add one toolbar here. The toolbar is Android X app complete with a toolbar. The width is match parent that is equal to the activity width and for the height we can use any height but for the toolbar we are replacing it with the action bar so I'm gonna use the same height as the action bar. Here we can give the action bar height so action bar size which that it will take the height of the action bar. We can also give the background color. So for the background color, I'm going to use the primary color. So here, color primary. And also let me, since the elevation of this toolbar, 4dp. And also we can add one theme for the toolbar. So here, let me use the theme. So it's using the same theme as the dark action bar. So all the icons will be in light color and the title will be white. And also let me remove this constraint layout and replace it with one frame layout. And finally let me give one ID here. Suppose the ID is toolbar. Not the toolbar is done. So here in the on create of this main activity we need to assign this tool toolbar as the action bar. The set for that we need to call set support action bar. So I'm using find view by id dot toolbar done. Now let me restart that. So this is the toolbar. So we can also use this toolbar with the navigation graph. So currently if I click on this second then it is sending the fragment in the nav host to the second fragment if i click on back then it moves back to the first fragment but if we use this toolbar with the nav host then if i click on second then it will add one back button here that will be done that will be managed by this nav host for that the first thing we need to use we need to first get the nav controller so we can use the find nav controller and r.id dot it is fragment so if you see in the activity main file then this is the nav controller so this is the nav host fragment so i'm using this id here then we need to create an object of class app bar configuration so this this class this class and the object that will create by using this class this is responsible for managing the behavior of this navigation button in this toolbar so if the user is at the top level destination that means this first fragment then it will not show anything here and if we have one navigation drawer then it will show one drawer icon and if i click on the second button then one new fragment is added and it will show one back button here for that let me first create this config graph this object so we need to pass the graph 
we can use this nav controller this object and from here we can get the graph now this config is created and the finally we need to use the toolbar so let me use find viewer id so we are using a toolbar r.id.toolbar then it has one method it is called let's check the toolbar it okay it's not android.widget.toolbar it is if you see here here we have two toolbars we need to import this one android x so here we will find one method it's called setup with nav controller and here we can pass the nav controller and as a second parameter we can pass this config here that's all now if i restart the app now if i click on second then you can see that this back button is added and i can also click on this back button so you can see that it's pretty simple just we need to add these three lines and everything will be added for us and the click listeners in menu items is also pretty easy with navigation frag navigation so let me create one menu xml file here new android resource file so suppose the name is main menu and the resource type is menu okay let me add one menu item here then let's go to this code it added one item so let me use one the title is your icon so i already have created one icon this icon now we need to inflate this menu in this main activity so for that we need to override two methods one is on create options menu this will be to show that menu and one more method if the user clicks on that menu for that on options items selected let me first inflate this menu here so for that i need to use menu inflator dot inflate and here i can get this menu its main menu and we need to pass this menu as a second argument and just return true it will show this menu in the toolbar now let me restart it now it's showing this item menu here if i click on it it's not doing anything because i have not written any code for this on options item selected so suppose i want to move to a different fragment inside this navigation graph for that i can do it simply by going to this menu and i need to add an id for this menu item and this id should be similar to what we the fragment id so let me go to this main graph here we have three fragments the first fragment second fragment and third fragment if you go to this code then you can see that for the second fragment we have this id second fragment and for the third fragment we have this id third fragment now if i want to move to third fragment if i am clicking on this item then what i need to do first let's go here to this main menu and add the same id as that fragment it's third fragment let me change the text to move to third then in this on options item selected it's returning this but for that we need to first use the nav controller we can use the find nav controller it's similar that we used before in this on create then we get this nav controller and in this item menu item we have one new method it's called on nav destination selected and we can simply pass this value to this nav controller so if we have this destination selected then it will move to that id that we are defining here 
and if it is not then it will call this one now let me restart the app now if i click on this move to third then you can see that this fragment third is open so if i click back then this fragment first if i click second it is fragment second and if i click third then it moves to fragment third the code is published on github and you can download it and if you have any queries or any questions please drop one comment below thanks bye